Hi, welcome. This is a video on Qtile. Doesn't really matter if we're on Qtile or not. I was actually looking at this screen and um, I've helped somebody who wanted to know something more about oh my ZSH themes and about ZSH in general. Each time I press now Ctrl Alt T, I get a completely different kind of look. Well, completely is, is well, maybe not so obvious, but in here, in the coding, in the themes, you see up here, Michel Bologna, and here is Mr. Tass, etc. Every time I open a terminal for now, I have it set to random. So all of these things are completely, well, random, basically. Now, this is what is called OZSH, my ZSH, this link here, up here. This is what it means to have a random theme each time. And there are also very special ones with, with a power line look and like this one with this line, which look awesome. So you need to remember Jonathan and then you can fix the theme and stay on that one, Jonathan. That was not what I wanted to tell you about it. But uh, another thing I wanted to share as well, let's kill everything here first. That's this. Um, we are having more and more users that, um, well, are actually unfamiliar to, to um, well, this is set to floating, I see. So I'm gonna press super shift, uh, super space, I mean, and everything is tiled again, because Qtile is a floating tiling or a window tiling manager, that's it. The thing is, um, our, our home here, we have here lots of information. I was looking for, did I make it, uh, at some point in time tutorials about ZSH? Am I missing something, right, tutorials? So in the search up here, you can look for whatever you're looking for. And there are lots of things about ZSH. I just want to share this in the video that if you're, if we're talking even on Arch Labs and all that, everything on here, Article Linux and um, also Arch Merge, I'm still looking for Arch Merge, here it is. How to install ZSH on Arch Merge D, tips, tricks and theming. It's the same thing. These videos still apply. So Arch Merge is another name that was prior to Arco Linux, but it's basically the same system. Um, so be my guest and look at those as well. Why am I making this video? Well, the thing is, when I wanted to control Alt T and I was say, okay, let's update the system. I said, what the heck? And then I remembered, oh yeah, I was helping somebody and I changed to ZSH, which you can find how to do it, how to install it in those tutorials. And I said, oh, I don't think I have um, explained this in a video somewhere. And what is it? Well, we are used to our bash RC. There is a bash RC latest and there is a bash RC. So these two guys should be exactly the same. And we can always compare and see if they are. Files are identical. If not, you move from the right to the left. So the bash RC contains our update. Control find, update. Update is pseudo pacman minus syyu. I do want you to learn the actual command because the actual command will be used in Arch Linux, Antergos, uh, um, um, uh, tell me, Manjaro, and, and so many other Arch based systems. We just make it a little bit shorter and smaller because we want to type it quickly. That's it. That's why we have an alias to make things that we forget, like this one when there is a Pacman lock, then you type just unlock rather than typing this whole sentence where you're gonna make a typo, etc. So aliases are there to make our work more efficient, but I do want you to learn what's behind it. All right, so this update thing is not working. It's broken, is it? Update, it's broken. No, it's not. Let's do it like this. So we can choose here, up here, what kind of look we want in Qtile, and that was me switching super spacebar. So update is broken. No, it's not. Okay, let's kill this one. And what we're gonna do and try out is Control A, Control C, and we're gonna look for something else since our shell is not, I don't think that will work, but um, for instance, echo shell probably is gonna work. There's a variable you can ask. So, right, we are on ZSH, that's confirmed. So we should also open this ZSHRC with Sublime Text. 
Let's kill this one. And this is what we did in our script. It's a Nemesis script and the Nemesis script says this sets the theming to random. So each time I have something new, always fun. But if you don't want that, you need to set it. Now all these codes, so there are some things in here that I have, um, well, like the new fetch and like the source, the highlighting, syntax highlighting. So if you start typing, I don't know, uh, sudo, you see these colors and sudo is okay. So I can press space. And Pac-Man, this is not correct, not correct, not correct, not correct, not correct, this is correct. So it's a syntax that helps people how to write, which is kind of awesome. But still not what I want to have. I want this update thing. So we're going to copy paste everything that's in our system. Everything, everything. This NeoFetch, let's go get rid of that NeoFetch because now we have at the bottom our other NeoFetch. If we save this, and we do a Ctrl Alt T, we're probably gonna see some errors, which is good. So 172, we need to get rid of 172, he says. I can't understand it. So it's just a fix for PNG. That's something actually I've I rarely use, but it's for designing. It's for um, back in the days to do some changes to PNGs and images. Now this thing, is okay but shopped is not okay shopped 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 all the shopped stuff are never available so either you delete it or put a hashtag in front of it just gonna delete it again Control t and everything looks normal again this is a very strange thing no problem Control t uh, so this thing let's see where that comes from that is not normal i think let's try another one They all have the same prompt in front of here. You see? So that's something I need to fix as well. It's not looking normal at all. And where is that coming from? That's probably coming from, I would say at the top. Here it is, PSI1. Let's get rid of that. Is that the issue? That is the issue, all right? So now we know it's this line, we can delete it. Save it. And finally, let's try, of course, that's why this video is being created. Let's try to see if we can update our stuff. Oh yeah, he's asking my password. Suddenly he knows what update means and it knows that this one is updating everything. And it knows like rip is also a very interesting one to get to know. Let's kill everything here. Let's kill the Conky as well. Kill Conky, one of the aliases. You see now there's no Conky to the right. And um, so rip, not tip. Tip this does, is not recognized, but rip as an alias becomes green. So he knows all about aliases. So this is me sharing all my privacy. Meaning the last thing I've done is install Vivaldi Wi-Fi at the bottom. Then Vivaldi, Vivaldi prior to that, by the way, the Vivaldi update comes in, you launch YouTube, you don't see YouTube, you install Vivaldi white fine again, suddenly it works. So you need to reinstall, even if you have it, reinstall Vivaldi white fine to see your Netflix or your YouTube and stuff like that. So this is all the stuff that I've been installing the last, uh, well, hours, days, you see the date and the hours and all um, well, aliases work. You see that ZSH did find it. Um, like for instance, HW is all my hardware. And there we end. So the, basically the video was uh, uh, created to make sure that all the aliases that are in Bash are now also in ZSH. Because if you take a look at all these colorings, every um, well, terminal, let's make it like this. Every terminal you open will have a different kind of prompt and coloring and all that. You see all the different possibilities. And that's this ZSH. Oh my ZSH. All right. Cheers.